Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Age Origins! Um, we just got a Queen Honora and we escaped from Fort Dracon. Um, I think in this episode we're going to focus on some side stuff before we continue on with the main story. Um, wasn't I going to give that to Alistair? Here, you can wear that. Um, we're probably going to sell some stuff. We have to go back to Orzammar, and there are a few things I need to do in Orzammar that I forgot to do while I was there. So let's head on out and start doing some side stuff. We're going to bring our Indeed. crew, as yeah. we do, for now. Let's go sell some things to... Gorum, I suppose, since he's the closest. Um, I forgot to go back to the proving you area your father proud, my lady. and do the extra proving stuff while we were there, and I kind of want to do that because, first of all, experience, and that's probably really the only reason. And I do want to complete everything we can. Um... I don't think there's anything we want to keep. At least things that are available to our character and how we're playing them. Like, for example, I will never um, do the slim cow cowdies, whatever stuff, because I'm not a sneaky roguelike character. But I do want to do the proving stuff because that is available to us. Oh, yeah, we need to go also get that in. That's for- oh, another thing. We need to get Zevran to be our BFFs. I think everyone else is at 100% besides Zevran. So that's another goal we're going to do today. And probably also get some more Lyrium dust, distillation agent, just so we can have enough um, Lyrium potions and health potions uh, as we continue on to the end of the game. Um, I think we'll have to go to the Magi Tower for Lyrium Dust. Okay. We also need to do this. And there's also... Oh, I kind of want to go to the uh, alienage, but not yet. Oh, we did something. Rexel, right? As there is but one Hello. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. As you wish. Yeah, what quest? Was it Rexel? Rexel's fate. The Templar. And I also want to do this, um, but we're probably going to change up our party just a little bit. I might pick out Shale, unfortunately, because she doesn't care for that quest line. But first of all, let's get on over to Orzammar. That's our first destination for today. Pretty sure they're in here. Yes. All right, we got it. Is she dead? <laughs> Are we too late? Any luck, Warden? She doesn't have much time. I'll see what I can do. There's nothing I can do but wait. It's all but inevitable. <laughs> Oh, and it, as the antidote passes her lips, the patient visibly relaxes. She will live. She'll be up and around in no time, thanks to you. I don't even get anything for that. <laughs> okay. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> All right, on to the proving then. Uh oh. The Valen fanatics. That's because I'm not. I am a golem. But you were once a woman and a dwarf. Doesn't that mean anything to you? The bard speaks of someone who lived and died five centuries ago. What have I in common with her? You share a soul. I do <laughs> not. It talks in riddles. Desist or I shall crush its head. <laughs> okay. All right, we got some Balin fanatics. Still, still beating that old horse, huh? That dead horse. Oh, 
Whoa. I don't think these guys are any trouble. These are just free XP at this point. Free XP and maybe some money. All right. <laughs> Let's go do the secret proving stuff. Well, it's not really secret. Extra proving stuff. Extra fights! It was on this side. Yep, there we go. Proving Armsman. We never talked to him when we were first here. I was all jumbled. Fine to see you here, Warden. Hi. A number of people have told me they hope to see you in the oh, hell yeah. It's a rare opportunity to fight against someone so exotically trained. Exotically trained. In fact, a few were hoping you'd take part in some informal action. I'm game. What do you have in mind? Say the word and I'll line up a team from one of the younger houses. <laughs> they don't often get a chance to test themselves in the Provings. They're a hungry bunch who employ unusual tactics. Understand that there's no concern for fairness here. Your battles will be hard won. Sure. Who am I facing? What do I get for it? The younger houses are interested in unorthodox tactics. Oh. Many hire mercenaries to augment traditional strengths. Anything goes is a fair description. We give small payouts, maybe a bonus from time to time. But this isn't about money. It's about skill and the chance to show it. All right, set me up with a team battle. We've got some young fighters ready to go. This will be difficult. They say. I assure you. They have a ma a blood mage. Oh, she's <laughs> she's stunned. God. Help my dog out. Easy. Good job, Warden. <laughs> You've earned a portion of the receipts. Let me know if you We're want to. We're gonna do go them again. all. Let's set me up. We've got some young fighters ready to go. This will be difficult. I don't think I it'll be difficult you. at all. I think this will be easy peasy. Champion, Dust Town Bug. Let's go for him. Shell's taking a beating. Was this our health in the last fight? It's in her tactics. I need to disable that. Get on your ass, champion. Good job, Warden. You've earned a portion of the receipt. Let me. I'll come back for Let some action later. Oh. I want our health to regen and all that. I didn't know it wasn't. Let me go to Serena's tactics. Let's see. We don't need that we don't need it shell is our threatened oh we're paused i was like why are you why is she healing hey hey who's laughing <laughs> All right, let's go again. Ready for some unofficial training? Yep, I'm We've got ready. Some young fighters ready to go. This will be difficult. Yeah, yeah. Spell immunity. It's not gonna be immune to my freaking blade. Oh, he's an arcane warrior. That's cool. I 
love these kind of fights. I like how, I love how the combat is in Origins, but it does feel a little chunky in some fights. When, um, when we get to Dragon Age 2, I, I was so amazed Good when I first job, played it, and it was so fluid. The receipts. Let me know if you want to go again. I'm just going to let everyone heal up after each fight since it doesn't do it automatically. I'm assuming there's a point where we won't be able to fight anymore. Come on, heal up. But I don't remember if that's the Ready case. for some unofficial training. Elven healer, Dust Town Thug champion proving. They're healing! What we got? Dust Town Thug? Oh my god. Take some time before they are ready to you again. Take this with my thanks. But does that mean that we don't get to play anymore? Blood Ring. There are clear signs that this ring was made in the Tevinter Perium. It's covered in dragon motifs, for one thing, and it gives anyone who wears it a slightly uneasy feeling for another. But beyond that, very little is known about it. Warriors of House Ivo took this ring in the Blessed Age from the hand of a madman, a surfacer mage who had wandered into the underground and attract. Lyrian miners near Orzammar. From there, the ring changed hands many times until its history had been lost and the dwarves no longer remember how it had ever come into their lands. Good work, Warden. Okay. You're amazingly skilled. So that was a thing we could have done. I guess we're done with it now. Cool. Just get some free XP, basically. I don't think those are really tough fights. Um, the next thing that we're going to be doing is... Oh, we should have done that in dinner room. We're not going back there yet. Um... Oh yeah, we need to talk about things here. Um, I think we're going to go and do the premium content. So I'm going to go back to our camp, which I think we can do when we get out of the proving here. Maybe. We'll see. Let me walk out and see if we can just get on out of here. No, we have to leave. Like in Dinnerum, we have to go through the entrance. All right, see you at camp, guys. Unless there's talk. The Elder Mage ever encountered another column. I suppose there used to be one deactivated one stored oh. in the tower's vault. I wonder what became of it. After all that's happened to the circle, I'd be surprised if it isn't completely destroyed. Why was it deactivated? Did it crush some arrogant mage's head after one too many commands? I do not know, Shale. Perhaps it is just irreparably broken. I think it stayed in the tower because no one could move it. It is very, very old. I believe it came from Tevinter Ooh. a long time ago. Perhaps someone bought it so it would guard the tower. Its people do enjoy their slaves, <laughs> don't they? It, it was not a slave. It was... It is a... A tool. As I thought. Ooh. No, don't deny it. No. I'm sure her thoughts have changed, though, after meeting Shale. They're not just um, mindless, soulless things to control. Alright, we're at the camp. First of all, Zevran. Zevran, my boy, I have a golden bar for you. He's the only one not at a hundred, and it makes me sad. Blood ring. Blood magic! <laughs> what am I looking for? Alright, here is a medium gold bar. You have excellent taste. I think also I'll just buy some gifts from Bodon because I want Zevran to be our if BFF as well. I can do for I'm sure you'll be I know not everyone needs to, but I do like having it all maxed out, personally. So we could give him a thoughtful gift. 
maybe two. Let's buy three. I don't think he needs that much to get all the max. How nice. <laughs> How nice. How nice. He's a hundred! We did it! <laughs> Let's talk to him a little bit. I did not thank, thank you. you. It occurs to me now that you have freed me from the crows, and yet I did not think to thank you for it. No matter why you did it, it's still it was done, and I the benefactor. So, thank you. Oh. Your friend Zevran, I was glad to do it. You say that so quickly, and yet it is an odd thing for me to hear. In the crows, we do not have friends, and yet here you are, and Aww. I cannot help but consider you such. I just said we're friends. We're not really friends, ever. <laughs> Whoa, you can flirt. And consider you a friend as well. Then allow me to say this. What we are doing here, stopping the blight, I cannot think of anything I have ever done which is so worthy. I intend to see this through to the end with you. After all, someone must take responsibility for preventing your untimely death. <laughs> a suitable task for a friend, yes? Oh. He's right, you don't need to die either. The thing I love about Zevran, which I don't know if I hallucinated this, or if it's only a romance, or if I haven't gone down the right um, dialogue paths yet with him in this playthrough at least but I remember him saying that he was ready to die that's why he took on the job of um, killing us he was prepared to die at our blade he thought that was a fitting end I don't think he actually um, was happy with the life he led and there was no way to get out of the crows but then we didn't kill him we recruited him and we gave him a bigger, better purpose than what he was doing with the crows. And I just really think that's beautiful, honestly. Listen, I love all my characters. I love all the characters. I love all the romance options. I love making hundreds of playthroughs. Um, and seeing all the different options and stuff and all that. And I love Zevran for this fact. Like, he was ready to die, but now he's found a better purpose. A better friend or a better lover. Um, if you decide to romance him, and I think that's just beautiful. But we need to tell him this. You don't need to die either, you know? Oh, I'm not going to die. <laughs> it's always the Grey Wardens that die. True. Did you not read the stories as a child? <laughs> the hero always dies. <laughs> Unless the hero has a trusty sidekick with him, <laughs> oh. then, uh, mm, then the sidekick dies instead. I knew there was a catch. <laughs> this friendship business is for the birds, I see. It's for the birds. Oh, Zevran. What what upgraded in Zevran's? Oh wait, it takes. Oh, he gets a new quote. Do they all get new quotes? And did you see this through the end with you? After all, someone must take responsibility for preventing your untimely death. Oh. Wait, do they all get crow quotes? Quotes? Perfectly alright to think about the many indigenous. I can't say that word. You plan to inflict on your enemies, but to talk about it, well, that would be unladylike. When? What the hell? Oh. I couldn't say I have a heart of stone. Oh, Morgan doesn't have another one. Missing Alistair. Oh. Alistair. Nope. Okay, we're gonna talk Your to someone. Wish. My wish. Whatever you'd like to ask. Oh. Can you tell me about the last mission now? Yes. I suppose it is time. You've been a good friend to me after all. There is no reason to be silent. 
There is a reason I accepted this mission in Ferelden, far away from home, and it had nothing to do with any thought that I might leave the crows. Meeting you, after all, was quite an accident. My last mission before this one did not end well. What happened? You must realize that until that day I was cocky and arrogant. I was the best crow in Antiva, I believed, and I bragged of my conquests often, both as an assassin and lover. Oh, lover. <laughs> You were more cocky and arrogant? <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. I was often told I was insufferable right before I ended up in bed with someone. Such is how it was. One of the crow masters grew tired of my boasting. My bid for an incredibly difficult mark was accepted, much to my surprise. A wealthy merchant with many guards was completely silent. Talison agreed to be part of my team, as well as an elven lass named Rina. Ooh. She was a marvel. Tough, smooth, wicked. Eyes that gleamed like justice. Everything I thought I desired. I sense a tragic ending. Rina was special. I had closed off my heart, I thought. But she touched something within me. It frightened me. When Talison revealed to me that Rina had accepted a bribe from the merchant, told him of our plan, Ooh. I readily agreed that she needed to pay the price and allowed Talison to her. which is the guy Rina we killed. Rina begged me not to. On her knees, with tears in her eyes, she told me that she loved me and had not betrayed us. Oh. I laughed in her face and said that even if it were true, I didn't care. Ooh, that's rough. Talisin was the guy we killed in Denrum on the way to, or on the way, yeah, on the way to uh, Arl House Estate. This is really rough. This is cruel. She, she, so Talisin said that Rena betrayed them, and she said, "No, I love you. I did not betray them." That was utterly cruel. Yes, it was. Talison cut her throat, and oh. I watched her bleed as she stared up at me. I spat on her for betraying the crows. When Talison and I finally assassinated the merchant, we found the true source of his information. Rina had not betrayed us. That's the most fucked up part of this of this of the story of this what he lived. I'm so sorry. I wanted to tell the crows what we had done, our mistake. Talison convinced me not to. He said it would be a foolish waste. So we reported that Rina had died in the attempt. Wow. We needn't have bothered. The crows knew what we had done. The master who disliked me told me so to my face. He said the crows knew, and they didn't care. And one day, my turn would come. Whoa. I don't know what to say. You once asked why I wanted to leave the crows. In truth, what I wanted was to die. Here it is. What better way than to throw myself at one of the fabled Grey Wardens? And then, this happened. And here I am. This is the conversation. Sorry, I jumped the gun and talked about it. <laughs> but this is what made me love Zevran as a character. Even more so. Like, you know, he's cute. He does things. Do, do you still want to die? No. What I want is to begin there again. There we go. Whatever it is I sought by leaving Antiva, I think I have found it. I owe you a great deal. I'm glad I ha to have you with me. Let us return to your mission, shall we? Suddenly, I do not feel like standing about. Oh. He wanted to die, but now he's found a new purpose and mission in life. Your wish? Do we have any Whatever more? Whatever you'd like to ask. No. Can I ask you personal questions? I think it was. Your wish? Again? I'm game. No, never mind. We're, we're finished with Zevran. That was his tidy little up story about why he chose the mission to do what he did.
It's really sad. Okay, what were we doing? We were going to do a king's confident. So there are rumors that a fellow survivor, Ostrakar, escaped the prisons of Ban Loren and is seeking the aid of the Grey Wardens. The Ban's lands lie in the northwest, northwest reaches of the Banorn. The escaped prisoner has likely taken refuge in the deep woods of the estate. So we're going to go try and help him. It's been a while. We'll just say he escaped now. He hasn't been escaped this whole time. So we're going to take... Yes, yes. We're taking our girl squad for now. And yeah, Ban Lauren's lands. These densely wooded lands provide much of the timber used in the region. And I think that's the last side quest besides some of the side quests in Dinaron that we have to do. Ooh, good cutscene. Got my girl squad. Oh yeah, they could totally can't hear us coming. Take a closer look at the guards. The guards were the uniform of Ban Lorne, a minor lord well known and well loved for the fluidity of his allegiances. I think we should join the fray. The guards were the uniform of Ban Oh! Maybe we should have just waited. Hi, oh hi. I'm behind a leaf, you can't see me. They stabbed him. I sent some. Do y'all have any mages? It doesn't look like it. Why are you attacking Liliana? Oh, they, they ain't nothing. Is he dead? Are y'all good up there? Elric. Okay, hang on, Elric. He might just be dead. Maybe we shouldn't have joined the fray. Oopsie. As you wish. Alright, let's see what this dude's about. The royal colors of Frelin's former king still shine through the stains on the man's uniform. Up close, the man's face is unmistakable. You remember him as Elric Maran, Maran whatever, the member of Kellen's honor guard at Ostagar and a close confidant of the king. <gasps> Thank Yo! You. I, I didn't expect the band's men to notice my escape so quickly. I tried to hide here in the woods, but there wasn't time. And now I'm a dead man. Uh, but we have healing magic. Well, you aren't dead yet. You were there in Ostagar. You know how things went. For me, it was either this, or die in some dark spawn's belly, or, or be hung as a deserter. Yes, I recognize your face. You were there with the Grey Wardens, one of Duncan's new recruits. I was to guard the king. He was my friend, understand? Make her. All that time in Ban Loren's prison. And I couldn't stop thinking about all they suffered that one dark night at Ostagar. Wow. I don't like any of these options. It's not your fault they died. I know. Even had Logan's men not turned their backs on us, the Darkspawn were too many. You think? Even Kalen, for all his bravado, knew there would be no victory at Ostagar. The king entrusted me with the key to the royal arms chest. If anything were to happen to him, he said, it was vital I deliver it to Ooh. the Wardens. Is this chest important? I'd say so. 
It's where Kalen kept his father's sword. Oh. The one he always said he'd slay the archdemon with. More than that, there was a secret compartment where he kept documents concerning his dealings with Empress Selene and the Orlesians. Do you still have this key? The Maker has a sense of humor, doesn't he? I suppose it's for the best, however. Had I kept it, it would be in Van Loren's hands by now. But you said Kaelin entrusted it to you. Oh, <laughs> wind's upset. I was afraid. I thought I would lose it on the battlefield, so I stashed it in the camp. Please, it's probably still there. Where? The key's behind a loose stone at the base of a statue. I'll draw a map for you, so you'll know where to search. Nice. The events at Ostagar still haunt my thoughts, Warden. And no doubt Alistair's as well. If that is where we are headed, Ooh. I think it best that we accompany you. It is vital that the King's documents do not fall into the wrong hands. As for Merrick's sword, it is too powerful to be poured at by those monsters. Same for the King's other arms and armor. And... And if you happen to find Kaelin's body, see it off. Damn. He was our king. He shouldn't be left to rot amidst the Darkspawn's filth. S oh, he does die. He was talking pretty good for a dying man, I'm gonna be honest. Like, he was yapping pretty good. Okay, so Wynn suggests that Alistair comes with us. I wonder if it's forced. New codex. Return to Oscar. Oh, it's just telling me about the premium content and the... Who worked on it. Okay, cool. Okay. So, we will probably... Honestly, when I'm sorry. I know this is probably really good. Where is it? Am I blind? Life ward. Turn that shit off. I'm sick of seeing it. I'll life ward if I need a life ward. Okay, if we're going back to Ostagar, I'm going to reset my party. And we'll um, bring Alistair along and win. And, of course, Leliana. I think that'll be our party. Going forward. I guess I don't see why you would bring anyone else. I don't think... I don't know if they would have any comments on this. Because Morgan might just be snarky and um, not interested. Zevran probably... He wasn't there. He doesn't care. Sten, who cares? He might actually find it honorable how so many died. Shell, mmm. Ogren, mmm. So yeah, I think those three will be good to bring with us. Um... one ice arrow <laughs> okay let's um make a save and go ahead and go back right indeed yes yes all right Ostergar, ruined to Venter Fortress where Kaelin made his final stand, now fallen to the blight and it's really deep in there with the dark spawn like they're probably going to be immense Let's head on there. And I'm trying to get Lilian to get all the traps. Is that all the traps? No, she walked right over that. <laughs> Are these traps for the wolves? Look at this sneaky trap. Look at that. <laughs> Alistair's also leveled up. Should we make him a... Well, I don't really want to make him a champion as well, because then he'll also be doing the stuff. Sorry, I'm putting on my arm brace. 
My arm's kind of hurting. Thank you, Liliana, for your service and the X beam. This should be easy enough. On it. I guess this will be some good money if we need it. This should be easy enough. <laughs> Are these signs gonna be like traps for wolves? Let's get started. Warning: Wolves freak in this area. Trap, traps laid for wolves. Well, it didn't fuck all for them. <laughs> oh my god, we just got here. Oh my god, there's snow everywhere. Oops, sorry. Whoa. What is happening? Jeez. Why wasn't that on? Why is it so glitchy? Tiny hair makes me feel old, when And what exactly are you implying, <laughs> Alistair? What? What? No nothing. No, I just thought... You just thought I might be an expert at feeling old and could share some sage advice. I, I just mean that I was a different person then. I believed him, you know, that it would be a glorious battle that we'd win. I did too. We were all a little bit younger the last time we were here. Well, not you. <laughs> You've always been old. With lips like that, son, Ooh. you'll be lucky if you live to be half my age. Oh my god, Alistair! <laughs> what the hell? Goodness. Um, oh yeah, this is where there, the infirmary was, there was the prisoner. Oh, some guys froze to death? Ooh. Not even death by the dark spot, they just froze. Or maybe they did die and they just froze over. Damn. This is crazy. Hold up. So, Liliana, do you want your arrows of faith on? Alistair. A little precise striking. Thank you very much. I'm here. I don't know if we'll be leaving the area. We might. But let's summon our wolf. Oh, did I turn that off? Oops. Hold on, guys. And my rally. There we go. All right, we're officially ready to walk through here. Uh, it looks like they blocked this area off, so we need to go this way. No, they blocked this off as well. Then we have to go through here. Oh, there's a raven. Ah, this is where the war council was. More frozen men. Mm. Hey, y'all knocked over a table. Hi. Oh, there's a mage. Oh my god, there's a mage. Alistair, actually get up here. You're great against mages. Strider. Oh no, not the bugs. The bugs, they hurt. Or council, yeah. This is where we met Alistair. For the first time. Warlock Strider. Kaylin Greaves. Oh. What's the matter, Alistair? I don't know. It just feels wrong to find this here. Poured over by dark spawn and thick with their rot. It was his. I know. I feel it too. But he is not the first king to ever fall in battle, or even the first to fall to the dark spawn. Yes. 
but this wound cuts deeper. That was his brother. And it will bleed longer, but we must keep moving. No doubt the Darkspawn are eager to give us plenty more reasons to mourn. Yeah, I don't wanna... What's up here? This is where we met Alistair and also did the joining here. Joining Chalice. Darkspawn blood still across the silver chalice. With a shudder, you remember the day you brought it to your lips and drank deeply of all the mysteries that lay within. It's a gift to Alistair? Who else will we give it to? You know it's wild? I don't want to spoil too much, but Loghain is a companion that can that can happen later on after the lands meet. Um, you unfortunately lose Alistair because of that, but... You could also do this quest, I think, after you get Loghain and bring him here. That would have been so interesting. We're unfortunately not doing the route of Loghain as a companion, but I may be in a future um, playthrough. I should do that. I don't think I've ever done that. Okay, I'm berserking too, fuckers. Where are y'all going? Leave Leliana alone. She did nothing wrong. Shell was such a good tank without having to have her be a tank. Well, that reminds me is Gerlock, Jinlock, Forge Master. I wonder if Alistair needs to fix his uh, tactics. Let's look at that. Oh yeah. Oh no. Okay, he only has Holy Smite. Enemy. Whatever. Don't you have cleanse area? Um be good here. Paralyzed? Sure. Who? Shit. There are dark spots everywhere here. Hi. He stunned me. Or someone did. Oh crap. Our team is badass. This is where the mages were. Oh, here's the buried, buried key. Okay. The teeth of this key are intricate and finely wrought, clearly the work of a talented locksmith. And the mage's chest, even though we've already opened it? I've already opened it! Why is it there? That's funny. 100% sure I opened it. Quartermaster. Darkspawn Forge? They've they've used it for themselves. Ready. Oh no, we can click on it. The darkspawn have fastened crude spikes and a corrupted hollow skull to the simple blacksmith's forge that you remember. As it's turning it into a what? Idol of worship. A hollow corrupted hollow skull. Let's get started. How badass is that though? Magi encampment. It's really sad to see it. I do like, though, how much it has changed and that the winter has overtook it. it. Makes it feel like time has actually passed. Oh, the kennels. This is where we found you, boy. Bark spawn. Oh, not 
the dead Mabari. Why are we seeing that? I don't care. I don't want to see it. I like animals way too. Oh. Who did that? Did it had to have been when she's the only mage. Okay. She just wanted to sit here and do whatever, twiddle our thumbs. And he, 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 so he gets out of it first. It's funny. Poor dead Mabaris. Ooh, something for Bark Spawn, though? Blighted Wolves. Please don't stun us. Uh-oh. Let's attack this dude. Vanguard. Alistair, do you need help fighting a wolf? Uh, clearly he does. Oh, Alistair. He's just getting emotional. That's all we have to, like... Chalk it up to you. He's getting emotional. Which I would be too. Why? why, why what? Did I just. I this just, should be easy enough. Hello? Can I open the pile of sacks? Also, our doggo, we have some stuff for you. It just looks cool. I wish we could see the collar on him, but honestly, the pure bitch braid's probably better. All set. Gotta be honest. Oh, this her her lock vanguard has something of Kaylin's. Don't inspire. Don't do this to me. The Darksmen have done their best to defile the bonfire where Duncan kept his nightly watch. Perhaps they still sense something in the man's power. <laughs> Do you think so? You think that's why they're doing it? Oh, I see. And here's where Kaelin kept his stuff. Secret correspondence. A bundle of documents comprised mostly of private correspondence to and from King Kaelin. So it's true. He had convinced the forces of Orlay to ally against the Darkspawn. Empress Selene was merely awaiting his response. A response that never came, and now never will, thanks to Loghain's treachery. Never is a long time, Alistair. Give it time, and let cooler heads prevail. There will be peace between us yet. Well, I hope you live to see it, <laughs> Wim. And I hope the Darkspawn don't. Bro, why is he always talking about her age? <laughs> This letter appears to have been cro- oh, page one of- why is it like this? Okay. To his majesty, King Caelan of Ferelden, my warden commander assures me that we face a blight. The thing threatens us both, and we must work together to fight it, lest it all devour us. Or devour all. Our two nations have not had a happy history, but that is all it is, history. It is the future that is at stake now. Let us put aside our father's disagreement so that we may secure the future for both our countries. My chevaliers, stand ready and will accompany the Grey Wardens of Orlais to Ferelden. At your word, the might of Orlais will march to reinforce the Ferelden forces. Sincerely, Empress Lean One. An official letter from Empress Lean One of Orlais to King Caelan of Ferelden. Your Majesty, my men will arrive as soon as possible to bolster your forces. Make her willing, this blight will be, will in, will be ended before it has begun. Caelan, I beseech you, as your uncle, not to, your, not to join the Grey Wardens on the field. As your uncle. You cannot afford to take this risk. If Ferelden cannot afford it, let me remind you again that you do not have an heir. Your death, and it pains me to think of it, would plunge Ferelden into chaos. It has. And yes, perhaps when this is all over, you will allow me to bring up the subject of your heir. While a son from both the Tyran and Mactir lines would unite Ferelden like no other, we must accept that perhaps this can never be. The queen approaches her 13th year and her ability to give you a child less than 30th. Sorry, I read 13th. I'm like, huh? That even makes sense when I read it. 30th year. Oh, you know, women past their prime and her ability to give you a child lessens with each passing month I submit to you again that it might be time to put Anora aside we parted harshly the last time I spoke of this 
but it has been a full year since then and nothing has changed. Please, nephew, consider my words and Andrasi's grace be with you <gasps> from all amen. And then we have, this letter appears to have been crumpled, then carefully smoothed out and folded again. Kaylin. Kaylin, that's so um, casual. The visit to Ferelden will be postponed indefinitely due to the Darkspawn problem. You understand, of course. The Darkspawn have odd timing, don't they? Let us deal with them first. Once that is done, we can further discuss a permanent alliance between Orle and Ferelden. A note written in the uncharacteristically familiar tone from, from Empress Selene to King Kaylin. They were on familiar terms? Ooh, scandalous. All right. So we need to find our king. Well, Ferelden's king, not my king. Hello? I see them. We're doing cleanup pretty easy. I had to go around. Let's get started. I do like that thing is changed so much that we're taking different paths than what we did when we first were here. I think that's pretty cool. Like, probably most people... I wasn't paying attention. Liliana told me and I just was not paying attention. I'm so sorry. Baby girl, I'm sorry. Look, he came running. He's like, well, what the fuck was that noise? It was me. Me stupidly hitting a trap. Sarita, I don't know where you're going, but just please. What is happening? Oh, because they're hitting the fucking repulsor stuff. Okay, jeez. Look at that Genlock has stuff. Did I not see it before? I'm having some lag, and I don't appreciate that. Oh, <laughs> you could they were shooting at us? That's where the battle was fought, down there. Right? Or am I thinking wrong? Yeah, it was down there. Oh, this isn't the way? Where do we need to go? Oh, probably through there to go down to where the battle is? Question mark? I'm not sure. Oh, there's a chest here. And a pile of sacks that I completely ignored. Why did I ignore those both? Because of the ballistas? Wow, a dark spawn mace. Thank you. Thank you for that. Elf root. I'll take that. Elf okay. We don't have haste on. We do have haste on. I don't have haste on. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, I don't. What? What happened there? How did I not get haste? Alistair doesn't have it either. Of course. Oh, well, I just took it off. No wonder he, has, he doesn't have it. I'm tripping, guys. I don't know what's going on. Come on. I don't know why these have to have a cooldown. Why do they think cooldowns are cool for passive buffs? There, now I have it. Interesting. Was it because we were in a cutscene or something? I don't know. Alright. Ooh, it's saving for me. It's gonna be a tough one. <gasps> Come on. 
God. Oh, right. Pretty preserved body, to be honest. Answer. Okay. From both sides, it seems like. Uh, let's hold up position. Skeleton mage. alone? Guys, hello? Wake up. This is the thing, though. The heart, the the dark spawn were s are so intelligent that they realize this is our king, and they strung him up. Like, how are they gonna know that? It's pretty crazy, in my opinion. Well, we were tasked to put him to rest properly if we did find his body. Forgive us, my king. Once we flushed the dark spawn from their holes and bought ourselves some time. We'll be back to see you to the Maker. See, I don't know nothing about their rights, so I have to rely on them three to do it. It's kind of crazy that they're that smart to know that, that yes, that's our king, and yes, um, they're going to string him up and do all that to face him. Oh, there's traps. Actually, I remember this. It's done. Didn't I? Didn't I just say don't? Mo Weapons at the ready. Right ahead. Right ahead. Fuck. awesome <laughs> are you gonna get up at all cool they got ballistas is the problem they are ready for us here where am I what am I doing Get back here. Oh, there's a... There's a mage. Well, I tried. Stressful. Right. Up there, the tower of Ishal. Let's do this. Oh, 
Oh, we're going to the Tower of Ishal. Okay. I didn't know that. Oh, I know I won it all. I am lagging a little bit. I might restart my game. It seems to do that when I hit an hour in recording. Yeah, I'm gonna restart my game after I loot these things. All right. All right, I think reloading helped it. We shall see. Apparently, they, Alistair wants us to go into the Tower of Ishal, where they first uh, came from, I believe. So we shall do that. First, let me explore over here. It really is annoying to hear the rally of them walking in and out. Why can't it be not a noise? Why does it have to have a noise? All right, let's enter the Tower of Ishal. Oh, is this the way? Oh, that's the world map. I don't want to do that. Sorry. Tower of Ishal, up here. Interesting that there's a world map there. I guess we could just leave. If we wanted to, but we really don't want to. In this area. Don't run away! Perfect cleanup. Ah. Hello? Can I not get that? Trade manifest. It's interesting to see all the snow in this place. Or like general. Whoa! How am I missing him? Look at those actually. Shriek. Lots of shrieks. What happened to this one? <laughs> he got stunned. Oh. Oh, double stun. We good? <laughs> oh, he has a part of Caitlyn's. There we go. How are they going to have a lock chest out here? Quest updated. Oh, wait. Uh, what was it? Breastplate, greaves, and gauntlets for arms he bore his father's Merrick sword and. Okay, shield. I thought we got it all. Well then. Alright, into the Tower of Ishal then. Back into it. This dude. We 
threw a fireball at us. He's still running. My bro is still running. Do they have traps in here? There is an ogre in here. Trap triggered. Oh, that was for wind stuff. Oh my god, hi! Nope. How did he do that? Go after the ogre. Listen, you ain't nothing. Oh god, he picked me up. You ain't nothing! What? We kind of took care of those pretty fast, honestly. I thought for sure there was gonna be a trap. I know there was a trap when we first came in here at the very beginning of the game, but I thought there would be another trap. They really made it fucked up in here, didn't they? they go that way. Hey, we can't get to you. Ooh, there's a lot of dark spot out there. <laughs> um. Hello, everyone. Oh, they have a bear in here. Bear skirt. Oh, we, oh, Lillian doesn't have her wolf. Yes. I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be honest, they seem really easy to kill. Yeah, we're like killing them in one shot or something. Let's get started. What? Okay. Nug Crusher! <laughs> Plus a hundred mana stamina? Yo! That's fun. Uh, down the hole and into the deep. I don't even want to imagine where that leads. That's where we're going? Okay, hang on. Barricaded door. Okay, so we are going down. Also, how weird would it be to put, um... Alistair in Kaylin's garb? We're transitioning him from a, uh... Oh, he got injured. From, um... Oh, Grey Warden to a king. Is it better? It sucks. <laughs> it sucks in comparison. Oh, okay. Well, into the hole we go. The rabbit hole. Right. No? You don't want to go? Okay, there we go. I don't blame her if she didn't want to go. Oh, it looks like elven ruins. What the heck? Why are there elven ruins here? Interesting. Yeah, I figured there'd be spiders. Corrupted spiders. These look like elven ruins. They straight up do. Like, where do these come from? Spiders. Lots of spiders. Oh, she has a cooldown on her wall. I 
on it. Hey, right, here's some dark spawn. You go berserk, I go berserk. Hey, where are you going? Sir? Sir? Where are you going? Why did he do that? Was it emissary? Where are you going? This is straight up the Dalish origin map. Slightly altered. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Hey, reusing maps is not a bad thing. Do you want to save just in case? I feel like everything's pretty easy, even on nightmare mode, but just in case, you never know. Never know what might wipe a team out. Spiders out the wazoo. Hey, 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 leave her alone. Oh, there's more. I didn't go berserk for this. Oh. Oh. Fair enough. It's scary when I get low on health. You know? It's a little scary when I get low on health. Even was that ability like they bit me? Oh, I guess so. I guess we're ready to continue on. Now we're outside. Oh, is this the battle? Is this where they fought? Yeah, it is. It's exactly where they fought. Oh. Oh, Duncan Swords. Stop. What they do with Duncan's body? I did not reanimate the ogre. This is kind of cool, but also, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? My expression said it all. Are you Liliana? Some of that wolf. Oh, not revival. Um, put that bitch on me. Risen ogre. What? Well, who are you getting hit by? Alistair. Oh, he's almost dead. Why? This is gonna be a harder fight. I'm sorry, I'm just- I hit him on nightmare mode! <laughs> I don't mean to be like, slightly braggy, but what the fuck? I thought that would be harder! Oh, we can go for this fucker! Get him! He's the true boss. 
No. Oh, he didn't get knocked over. I'm surprised. He's just taking it. He's not even... In war victory. Is that Duncan's armor? There it is. The last of them. Oh. So the fight, hold up. You appear to be getting younger by the day. Be careful who you flirt with, young man. <laughs> when you wake up beside me tomorrow morning, I'll be back to remind Whoa! you of your grandmother. Beside you? You heard what I said. It would not be the first time I woke to a younger man in my bed. Are all women this evil and conniving Whoa! when you grow old? Just me, my dear. <laughs> Just me. Whoa! Oh. What the hell? First of all, hold up. Don't say that stuff to me. I mean, do what y'all want. Y'all are two consenting adults, but that's <laughs> what happened. Okay. So we got Duncan stuff, <gasps> which is really fucking good, actually. That's also really good. I actually might replace Darfing. I wonder if we should give Nug Crusher to um, Ogryn. Oh man, okay. Caitlyn's stuff really sucks. Though I do want to see Alistair in it just once. Because I would have given it to him if we didn't have this super duper awesome Grey Warden armor. Could you imagine just putting him in this? And then also the shield. And then... Go be king. <laughs> That's funny. And give him Merrick's uh, sword. I think I'm going to give him Duncan's sword, even though it's a little... Um, has a different set of special skills. It is way better, though, damage-wise, crit-wise, armor penetration-wise. And I think I'll equip... Um, Merrick's blade. Maybe give Duncan's dagger to Zevran, which I think is the only one who can wield daggers. Um, let's put him back in his... Wait. Is that the helmet I, I had for him? I don't know. Let's put him back in his Grey Warden stuff. I think we also picked up Duncan's armor is what this is. This, um, Grey Warren Scout armor, Grey Warren Scout boots. So these are Duncan's, um, armor as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Which we won't be giving to anyone, because I don't... I mean, I guess Severin, but he's not really a Grey Warden. I only want people who are actual Grey Wardens to wear the Grey Warden armor. <laughs> and I'll take Merrick's blade. Health regeneration and mana stamina regeneration is why I want it. Oh, it sucks though, damage wise. It kind of looks like Starfang, but just different color. No, I might keep Starfang then, if that's the case. Alright, we have his armor. We have... Everything else. Where are we? So we have to go back through the tunnels. We have to get back to um, the king. The darkspawn will return to this place, but for now at least it is yours and yours alone. You should deal with the king's body. Make sure you have everything you need for the from the area before it grows dark. 
So it's like, hey, pick up everything you can, because you're about to never come back here again. And look, we're lagging again. It's not even an hour in. I'm turning off rally. Ooh. How did we not know they dug a little hole over here? Back to the king. Alistair, are you all right? Oh, they left him here to rot. We need to do something. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? We're going to be respectful because Alistair and Wynn and Liliana all probably want this one. He is of royal blood and deserves a pyre. He was a good man who hoped too much and died too young. He deserves what little honor we can afford to grant him. Oh. We return to Ostagar, and that's our last premium content DLC. It is really sad. I feel like it would hit harder if we were a human or an elf under the rule of of um, the king, but we're a dwarf. We have our own king, but it's still very sad because of um, everyone else involved. Who has become our companions and our loved ones. I like it. I think it's really cool that we were able to come back here. Um, after the devastation. I also think it'd be really cool to see Loghain's reaction to this all. To see what he did. What he caused. I wonder if he would still say he was justified in doing what he did. Very interesting to see. This should be easy enough. I think, though, with that, we're going to head to camp for a little bit, get rid of some armor and stuff, see if Zevran wants this Duncan's dagger. I wonder if Alistair has anything to say about that. Ask away. I guess not. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Bye. Do you want this? I like how the Grey Warden um, weapons don't even have like a thing against uh, Dark Spawn. Like, Merrick's Blade has six damage versus Dark Spawn, but the Grey Warden Blade doesn't. <laughs> um. They're basically the same, just different stats. This one is a little better. Actually. Alistair, you have Duncan's sword. Do you want this as your second? Redcliffe Elite Shield, do you want... Hey, what's on your first one? Oh, I gave you Kaelin Shield. Do you... Now, let's... There. I wish we could, like, swap weapons, but also swap armor. That would have been cool. 
Okay. Nug Crusher. What about Ogrim? What do you have? Ageless! Which is way better. <laughs> you know, it is way better. It's so better. Nut Crusher is good, but not not good at all for versus what we already have. Alright, let's do some inventory and then I think we're gonna go um do K stuff in dinner room. We'll do some more side quests. Yeah, is what your we're friends doing. Are formidable folk, indeed. We'll do some more side quests. I just realized I probably should have done enchantment first because I think some of them had enchantments, but oh well. We're already done. What would have been also funny if we had Loghain and we gave him Caitlyn's armor? <laughs> Could you imagine? But he would be a Grey Warden, so I would want him to have Grey Warden armor. Sorry, Caitlyn's armor. If only you were better. Um, I do need more stuff from you, actually. Uh, distillation agents. We have plenty of flask. I need to go get more lyrium dust, which is at the circle tower, I believe. There's not enough rings in this game for everyone. It's really upsetting, to be honest. Okay. Enchantment? Enchantment! Duncan's sword. You want some stuff? Ah, uh, there's the versus dark spawn. All we got is lightning ruins. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right, let's get, I'm gonna take a small detour to the Circle of Tower, and then we'll head back to Dinner Room to do some more side quests. We got an X. What we got? Oh, it's just this dude. <laughs> you have coin, fine weapon and arms, dwarven made. Times have changed in Ormazar, but let's see that discount. <laughs> My dude, do you not know? He doesn't have anything I want, so this is a waste of time. Thanks. Saw him one more time before we head off. All right, we're back in Dinaram, which means we still have some stuff to do. The main thing doing, we're gonna do harsh decisions. We're gonna go to Kay's hideout. And I'll wait till we're there. Wait, let me save just in case. I think we're pretty much all like ultimate powerful. We're not, we have no trouble doing anything really. Oh shit, Kay's just right here. 
Um. Don't mind me, I'm just summoning a wolf. <laughs> Yes, sir. How can we assist you? I sent my best, and yet here you are. My brother and can't stand the competition, hmm? Fine, let's get to it. Oh! They stunned me immediately. Oh shit, nice going, dog. Going. Well, shit, there we go. Took care of K. Do we get anything from him? What? You resolve the infighting among Dinnerum's rogues, return to the non noble. The non noble and dinner room for your reward. He didn't even drop anything. Also, they should have had a mage. That would have made it way tougher. Alright, I guess we're gonna go back and get our reward. That was pretty easy. Um, we're still waiting on the love letters. We have to get to the alienage, which we're about to do, so we're probably about to finish up some side quests. Oh, we also need to go to the tavern anyway because we need to talk to the nobles. Perfect. You see Wolf's face when he arrived. I heard West Hills has fallen to Darkspawn. Your lands are in the south. Surely you've seen the blight yourself. Hardly. You know very well I've been in Denerim these past two years. Rosalind's health requires us to be in town, you understand. <clears throat> yes, I had heard that. By the way, hello, sir. Whoever you are, I... Wait. I know you. My son described you in great detail. Oh, yeah. He tells me that I owe you his Whoa. life. I will leave no man to suffer at Arl Hal's hands. When I saw my poor boy's mm. legs, I only wish Hal still lived that I might tear him apart myself. I would bring troops against his son. But Oswin tells me Thomas had no part in his father's depravity. Is there anything you would ask as a reward for saving Oswin? All I want is for you to speak out against Logan. Thank you again. Know that I will stand behind you at the lands meet with all the support I can muster. In fact, I am taking my supper today with Van Reginelder of the White River Banor. Ooh. I'll speak with her about this at once. There we go. We got someone on our side. And also Al Alstana. Alstana. I had hoped to see him while I was in town, but he's made himself scarce. Every time I've called at the Chantry, oh. he's been away. He answers none of my letters. Well, that doesn't sound like Erminrid. I'm sure he's merely busy. <sighs> Perhaps. We'll call at the rectory again tomorrow. Actually, your brother is locked in a cell that you need to go get him. May I help you? I was asked to give this to you. This is Erminrid's. Explain yourself. My brother would no more part with this ring than with his head. He needs your help. He's alive then? Please, if you have any news of my brother, I would hear it. He's in the dungeon of the Arl Dinnerum's estate. A dungeon? What? No. I will go to him at once. 
Someone will answer for this. Take this with my thanks. It has been in my family since the War of Crowns, crafted for us by the Circle of Magi. An heirloom is a small thing compared to my brother's life. Agreed. What do we get? Spirit Ward. Okay. You'll have to excuse me. I'll have to speak I'm with the engaged. Grand Cleric about this. And soon. All right, so that's at least two people against what the game. What you, stranger? I have finished a favor when you're interested parties. Is there any more interested what can bodies? I get you, stranger? Nope, we're still doing that. R is just chilling, waiting for the love letters. What can I get you, stranger? The dog. Word oh. has it they swarmed the entire area, making off with prisoners, and burning down the buildings. And then they were gone. Just as quick. I wonder if there's anyone left. I heard some chanters were going to head down south, maybe to try to find some survivors. And I'm not holding out hope myself. Anything else you need? I wanted to actually see what you had. I clicked the wrong one. <laughs> I clicked the wrong one. Oh, he also has like 99.9 of everything. Cool. I think we'll be okay. I think we have enough. We also have so much money that I don't even know what to do with it. I wonder if there was like a little tome I missed. I wonder if I can look up a guide for that. Okay, so for side quest wise, that seems to be everything we can do right now. Um, I think everything else is in. I might look up where all the love letters are because I don't. I want to finish it. I want to clear out my um, journal. <laughs> Uh, but there might just be one in the alienage as well. I think with that, though, we might be bringing this episode to a close for now, I and we'll see. the news about how. Was that your daughter I saw in the market, Brandon? Probably. What? Okay. Let me get out of here so they stop talking. Um, but I think I'm going to bring this episode to a close, and then we're going to head into the alienage. We are nearing the end of the main story, which is very exciting. I'm very excited to see our ending... Um, but for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.